Okay, so hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I make my animations. Here's a few examples. This video was extremely requested, and though I said I was going to make it a long time ago, it was extremely hard to film and edit, so it kind of took me a lot of time, and I absolutely apologize for that. However, here's the video, I'm not going to be talking so much, and yeah, enjoy! So, of course, the first thing you would want to do is to find inspo. You can find inspo on TikTok, Pinterest, YouTube. There's a lot of places where you can find inspo for videos. So just try to find the video that you would like to recreate. I'm going to be showing you how to recreate it. And I want you to keep in mind that it's not hard at all. And once you get used to it, trust me, animations will barely even take you an hour. So yeah. <laughs> Okay, so now that I picked the idea of the video that I would like to do, now you have to make two different models, two different styles, two different everything. One of them is like, you know, the neutral like she had in the beginning and then after that, the other one which was colorful, sparkly and all of that. You can choose any two different models that you want, maybe by another model creator or you can just make them yourself like I'm, what I'm gonna do because that's what I personally prefer, but it'll be made by me. So yeah, I'll do that real quick and come back. <laughs> Okay, so now that I made my models, as you can see, one of them is sparkly and colorful and the other one is more on the neutral side, which is exactly what we want, just like how we're gonna make our characters, we're gonna need two characters, one of them is gonna be just in more of a pajama way, so that it would go with like, the second room model, which is the one that's neutral, and then the other character will be wearing more of the party, maybe colorful dress, like, you know, all that things, just like what I'm about to do, so yeah. Okay, so now that you've done the characters, you just want to align each character with their own room, group the room with the character, and then just export. Okay, so of course you want to have two blender tabs open, not just one. One that's going to be for the first sparkly room, and the other one that is going to be for like the more neutral color room. After that, there's some certain blender settings that you would have to do so that the animation would come out better, smoother, and better quality in general. Okay, so what you're gonna do now is put the 180 down and the 1920 above. The resolution is absolutely optional. You can make it 85 just for better resolution, but it will in fact increase your render time. I forgot to adjust this, but please make sure the frame step is one because if it's not one, then the animation won't be smooth. After that, of course, make it Abby raw, put it in a folder, and change the device from CPU to GPU. If your computer does in fact have GPU, it is highly recommended to make a GPU, it's way faster in render. And lastly, of course, you're denoising. And now let's just repeat these same steps in the other blender. And after that, you basically just want to do the basics, which is importing and all of that. So yeah, I'm gonna do these real quick and come back. So I have a really good tip that I'm really sure it will help you. If you don't already know, you can group things in Blender. So just basically select the items that you want and just press Ctrl G and to select them again if you want to, whenever you want to, just click this little box thing and then just press this little arrow and select the group. So yeah.
Okay, so now on to the easiest part, which is this transition. Okay, so basically all you have to do is just copy the rig that you animated in the first blend. Then you just want to paste it in the second blend like seen. And then you want to see the end time of the first blend. And then you want to make that the start of the second one. So yeah, this is all you have to do to make a smooth transition. <laughs> Okay, so now to the last and probably the easiest part, which is the LED lights. All you have to do is just press Shift A, Mesh, and then just put a plane. And then after that, you want to put a texture for it, put emission, and then just put any random vibrant color that you want. You can also add multiple so that you know when it like it's animating. It like changes colors. I'm gonna show you how I animated at the end because I personally don't like it to just be randomly moving around while I'm animating. So I leave this timestamp for that so that you don't have to watch it all. <laughs> Okay, so I decided to add yellow too because I feel like blue and pink weren't enough and after a while I will be adding green. <laughs> but basically it's really easy to animate them. You just have to move them around like how you normally animate like a hand or a leg. Just move them around the character and make sure that it does not get in the way of the camera. So yeah, that's probably a big tip. <laughs> Okay, so now that you're done with animating, you're just left with rendering and editing. So yeah, here's the final result. I ain't never seen two pretty best friends. It's always one of them gotta be ugly. <laughs>